Hey guys, welcome to this session. In this session, you're gonna learn how to detect and remove all layers using interquantile rate. Previously, I have made a tutorials how to detect and remove all layers using box plot. So uh, in this tutorial, uh, you are going to learn another way of detecting and removing all layers uh, of numerical data. So here, uh, I have uh, a training data and I'm going to show you how to detect and remove all layers using interquantile range. Let's import some uh, manipulation tools, pandas, uh, actually seaborn, and those are not important right now. NumPy and pandas are enough for our uh, tutorials in this session. Uh, so I have a training data. A training data means which is ready for machine learning uh, uh, model prediction because everything is uh, the data is processed and uh, which is uh, cleaned and uh, it is ready for uh, predicting the uh, test data set. So uh, I'm going to just train right, explore the uh, first five rows. Uh, our data sets contains a number of columns and rows and uh, uh, census population, city, land area, households with under 18, uh, population density, total families, total powder city sales. Those are the columns of our, uh, my data set. And uh, I also check the missing values of the data set. Print dots is none. Just some if there is any missing data. So it is great. There is no uh, missing values in uh, my data set. So that is great. Uh, if there is an, any missing data or values in your data set, so you're going to check and uh, uh, deal with that missing uh, values. You can watch how to deal missing values uh, using uh, mean or mood, uh, median. You can watch previous uh, video, uh, tutorials as well. And uh, also check your data sets, the shape of your data set, the dimension of your data set, which means the number of rows and columns uh, you, uh, the data set has. Uh, so train dot shape. So uh, in, in these tutorials, I have uh, 10 number of rows and some number of columns. And also just uh, if your data uh, contains uh, categorical or uh, object or string the columns. So you are going to uh, separate or uh, extract numerical columns from your data set because uh, to detect the outliers of your data sets, you are going to uh, uh, make sure that your data set, all the values of your data uh, columns uh, should be numerical. Okay, call numeric numeric calls. I just use train dot describe and exclude objects. Then from this uh, numerical columns, I'm going to just uh, uh, get column and names only. Call names. New uh, columns dot columns. So we get a list of columns, which is uh, uh, numerical columns. Okay, now I'm going to uh, define a new function which uh, gonna detect the outliers. Uh, and this function, I'm, uh, I'm, go uh, I'm going to uh, perform some calculations the interquantile uh, calculations, which is uh, calculating first quantile, third quantile, interquantile rate, upper fence and lower fence. So uh, let's uh, create an MIT dictionary. I'll learn. Dict. Then uh, I'm going to iterate over uh, column names. Uh, here, I just pass the list of columns to the function detect all layer. 
and iterate over each column and find the interquantile range of uh, each column uh, data for <clears throat> every column in calls. Uh, just calculate first quantile, which is uh, first quantile means the first twenty five percent of the data, uh, and quartile three the first. Uh, 75% of the data and interquantile range is, uh, which is between first quantile and third quantile. So quantile one, I'm going to use NumPy function. Uh, NumPy is uh, one of the powerful uh, Python library that uh, used to perform uh, mathematical uh, uh, operations or complex numerical analysis as well. So numpy dots quantile, and I pass the column, just uh, the data of the column name call, and uh, pass the zero point two five uh, means that is twenty five percent of the data is the first quantile, and the third quantile is uh, numpy dot quantile. <clears throat> that is df call column and name and we pass 0 0.75 75 percent the interquantile range is uh, in between first quantile and third quantile so i'm going to subtract first quantile from the third quantile interquantile range quantile three minus quantile one okay and now I'm going to, if I get the interquantile range, I'm going to find the upper fence and lower fence of uh, this uh, data set. That is very important. If our data point is greater than upper uh, face, that is our layer, or less than uh, or below the uh, lower fence, that is our layer. So simply we can just find upper fence and lower fence. Okay. Upper fence. Upper fence uh, means third quantile plus, which is greater than or above the third quantile means uh, we just uh, add 1.5 times interquantile range. This is a calculation to find upper fence. And the lower fence means, which is uh, below the first quantile. Below the data point, which is uh, below the first quantile, is that is an all layer. Lower fence. Quantile one minus, because which is uh, below that uh, uh, first quantile, 1.5 times interquantile range. Okay, now I'm going to slice the all layers from our data. Uh, based on the upper fence and lower fence. All layer, which is data frame dot lock. This is a slicing mechanism to uh, lock the data, which is greater than or uh, less than the upper fence and lower fence, respectively. Uh, okay, just DF call less than or equal to lower fence. Or, or DF column name greater than or equal to upper fence. Okay. Then outside this, uh, just uh, slice that column from uh, the data frame. This is just uh, slicing the whole data, but uh, for calculating each uh, column and uh, outlier, the, the outliers of each column and data, just uh, use this, okay, slicing mechanism. Now, uh, I'm going to 
are pinned to the dictionary uh, of each online uh, value. Okay. Euler dict column and name and just first quantile past list of uh, this calculation, sort quantile, enter quantile range orderly and the values of the Euler. Euler dot values. <coughs> then I'm going to return the dictionary as an output or result. Euler dict. Okay, now I have calculated uh, all the outliers, I mean the interquantile range, and uh, first quantile, third quantile, outlier, upper range, and lower range. Then finally, I get list of uh, each values into a dictionary, and I'm going to call the function and pass the data frame name uh, and the list of columns to the function. Outlier. Detect all and pass the data frame is train and list of columns are called names. All right, now I'm going to create a data frame. Df td dot because this is a dictionary and we just transform to data frame to easily understand uh, the data, the distribution of the data. Uh, our layer, and I'm going to uh, just create the index of uh, set index td dot index uh, quantile one orderly just put quantile three uh, enter quantile range and finally our layer. All right, let's uh, run. <coughs> okay, the column names are as it is, and the indexes are the uh, quantiles, the first quantile, third quantile, interquantile range, and outlier. So uh, we can uh, easily understand that, for example, in census population, the first quantile, okay, uh, I have left upper fence and lower fence. I can add upper fence, lower fence. <coughs> and here also add the index of upper fence and lower fence. All right, here uh, we can check. For example, the first uh, column uh, is census population. The first content uh, is 7,115. Third quantile is 21,638. And the interquantile range is 14,522.5. The upper fence, which is greater than uh, the upper fence uh, is, uh, which is greater than the third quantile. The third quantile is 21,638, but the upper fence is 43,000. So uh, the data point, which is greater than the upper fence is the outlier. So our uh, just uh, look out to the upper fence and check our data point. So if there is values greater than the upper fence, that is an outlier. So we are going to drop that outlier, uh, that uh, data point, because that is above the upper fence, that is an outlier. Okay, so let's uh, try. The outlier is 59,466, uh, which is greater than 43,421. So this is an outlier. And also the lower fence is uh, minus 14, thousand six uh, six eight so there is no data which is uh, below the lower fence that's good but there is a uh, data which is greater than or above the upper fence that is an outlier so we detected 
one outlier at uh, census population column. <coughs> at the second column land area, uh, I have detected uh, one uh, outlier as well, one outlier. So the upper fence is 6,480, but uh, the outlier is uh, above the upper fence, that is 6,620. So this is an outlier. So we are going to drop this outlier. And household with under 18, uh, there is a, an outlier greater than the upper fence. The upper fence is 7,282, but the Outlier is 7,788, 7, so which is above the upper fence. And uh, population density as well, uh, 20 is uh, uh, the outlier, which is uh, above the 70.44, And the total families as well, there is one outlier. And total powder city, uh, also there is one outlier. So here, we have detected uh, the outliers of each column uh, data. So we can just uh, drop the outliers of uh, the data, which is greater than, just exclude the data, which is greater than or lower than the upper fence and lower uh, fence respectively. Because outlier is, uh, actually it is a measurement error. Outliers, one of the outlier data is measurement error. So that is not important for our uh, prediction. So our prediction uh, accuracy uh, will not be accurate based on this uh, incorrectly recorded uh, data. So this is one way of uh, detecting uh, outliers. So this is best way actually. So you can simply uh, point out uh, at which point that outlier is detected, that is. Okay, next time we'll uh, see another video tutorials about data science and machine learning. Stay with, with us, subscribe, like, and share my YouTube channel, and uh, 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 give uh, feedback about these tutorials, and uh, ask your question on Telegram channel. Thanks for watching.